Alright guys, so in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is the Torador method for running Bogdan, okay? So we got my friend here that needed help with the Bogdan, so I decided to go ahead and take advantage of this situation so I can show you guys the method which involves the Torador, which is super awesome because what do we know about the Torador? Well, number one, that sucker's got missiles on it, and number two, it is, it's aquanized, and also it's got the jet boost on it, so that's going to make it super easy and super awesome for what we're going to be doing in this video here, so we're just uh, mashing out the payouts and stuff right quick. And then we're going to go ahead and get this started. Now, when you guys are in the option of choosing what vehicle you want to start off with, you know, you may have a lot of vehicles and it may take a while to do this potentially, but you need to sift through until your starting vehicle says that it is the Torador, okay? So number one, of course, you and your friend uh, need to own a Torador. It doesn't matter who owns it. I think my friend is going to be getting it at this point. We're just going to go ahead and get the Torador for a spawn vehicle because what's really cool and really awesome, if you guys did not know this, of course, we can use the Torador in something like a Bogdan or much of any other, I think, act heist, you know, even though act three, we're on foot inside of the mountain. And unfortunately, we can't get a Torador inside of Mount Chile while we're doing act three. How awesome would that be? What vehicle would you guys take into act three if you could like take a vehicle like with an armored Karuma or something? Yeah, right. All right, so we're going to get this going. I'm going to show you everything you guys are going to need to know so you have all the information inside of your brain, just like it's inside of my brain right now, but I'm just, I'm going to let you, let you have the information too. All right, cool. Me and my buddy, one-eyed monster, alien from planet Glitchidia. <laughs> so check it out, dude. Here's the Torador. This is what we're going to be using. No sea sharks, nothing crazy whatsoever. So I don't know, L listen, like there's a lot of different methods you guys can be using to go ahead and do the Bogdan. And of course, like, yeah, we're way out here in the desert. And the first thing you'd probably say is like, well, it'd probably be a little bit easier if you didn't fast travel and you already had your facility weighed out in Polito Bay. Yes, you are right. It would make it a lot quicker, which is why, you know, there are a lot of players out there that have their facilities out in Polito Bay just for the main fact of running back-to-back -back Bogdans, which... Uh, recently, they did do a pay upgrade for this mission, if you guys did not know. And right now, it's dishing out times and a half. So, you're going to be getting paid like about $2 million every time you run this, basically. If you're going to be doing like the back-to-back -back method, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and drop my friend off. He's going to get into the Stromberg because he's the one that's going to be going into the submarine. We're not going to show you all the submarine stuff because we've done it tons of times here. Uh, maybe not tons of times, but... I've done it before here on the channel showing the submarine run, you know, and of course, the best weapon that you guys can be using for the submarine inside, in my personal opinion, is going to be that assault shotgun. Like, the assault shotgun is my best friend in this game since it ever came out and we had the ability of, you know, just owning it, you know, I don't know. It's a really awesome gun. I love it. So, you can see that my friend is in the Strongberg and then I am in a Torador. So we're just going to go ahead and go out here, just like always. Now, normally, like, here's another method that you guys can just grab the Avenger, park it on the tip of that little island right there, and then call Pegasus, get a Sea Shark, and then get on the Sea Shark, and then drive the Sea Shark out here. But potentially, this is just another method that you guys can be using, um, you know, and especially the awesomeness about this, too, is this thing has missiles. So later on, when the helicopters come in, you can shoot the helicopters and blow them up. And I don't think there's like an in, in mount to the amount of missiles that you have on this thing. So potentially, if you wanted to go sit in there, like over there on the beach or something like that and just shoot missiles at the helicopters the whole time while your friend's in here. But the main reason that I am out in the ocean right now is because my friend is in the submarine. He's doing his thing, shooting all the people. And then, of course, like talking to the bog. And I'm going to be way out here, you guys. Like, I'm just going to be way out in the ocean because I don't want the helicopters to come over here and start shooting at me. I'm just going to sit here in the water and I'm going to wait for my friend to do what he has to do inside of the submarine and then he's going to get the scuba gear and then of course he's going to be like done at some point so that during this whole time I'm just going to hang out here like we normally would with the sea shark method which I uh, have that method also on my channel 
you know so it's kind of like up to you guys what type of method there's lots of other methods as well on what you can potentially do with Bogdan making it the fastest but for me personally I think the Torador method and having your facility out in Polito Bay is going to be one of the better methods of running this thing back to back and then right now like why would we even want to be doing Bogdan's because well they're paying out the times and the half so I would almost say right now unless you guys have like a panther statue or something over there in Cape Perico um yeah Bogdan's gonna be paying out a little over two million dollars I think um so anyways here we're just sitting here waiting for my friend and then that famous speech which if you guys have ran Bogdan enough you would know exactly what uh Bogdan is is saying like during his whole speech and then they got like a monologue of it written in text down here in the bottom just in case you forget a word you can go ahead and read every single word down at the bottom of what he's saying just like what how do i make this up <laughs> all right so real quick here i'm gonna grab my friend this is why we're out here so basically the helicopters have spawned in and they're all over that avenger they are on like flies on poop or something like that they are hovering over it they're waiting for us so they can try to murder us all right so i've waited long enough we're gonna go up here we're gonna pick my friend up because he's done in the submarine check out all these explosions you guys <laughs> oh oh that's so cool right oh my god oh my god did you see that don't go anywhere near it oh my god that's freaking awesome wow sorry that's cool look at it what's that one geyser that shoots water out yellow yellowstone park i don't know that was awesome though dude all right so from here we're just gonna be using the torador i picked my friend up we're gonna be using the boost on this sucker because it's way faster than a sea shark and then once again if we want to kill any of the helicopters up here of course we can do that because i believe that we have unlimited amount of missiles on this thing and the fact that we even get to bring this into like bogdan which it's a weapon or weaponized aquanized vehicle so you know you can take it into the water and for any of those helicopters we're just gonna go ahead and kill them i just need to make my way back up here too so another thing too that you guys potentially can do once again is you know lots of other methods but like what i've said before all we have to do is just start off in the torador stay in the torador you know basically the whole time while one of our friends or something or if we're the ones that are going into the submarine and then check this out bam here's the avenger park right by it get on out i'm gonna start this up real quick now while i start this up my friend's gonna have a little bit of fun and he's gonna shoot some of these helicopters down it takes a while to start the Avenger up. Oh, there it goes. One helicopter. <laughs> it's getting, he's getting to shoot off. Come on, man. We got to get out of here. Come on, man. Let's go. And then from here, all you guys have to do is just simply, you know, drive the Avenger. Or fly the Avenger because you don't drive airplanes. You fly airplanes. <laughs> you drive cars. Yeah, what do you do with the boat? That's still driving. You're, you're driving a boat. You don't fly a boat on water. You know, it's driving a boat, right? Okay, whatever. Or do you mainly just steer it? Because you don't really. There's not a lot of driving, is there? Or do you just steer a car? There's a lot of steering. We're not going to break this down right now. We're going to go to the all the way to the end here so we can get paid. And right now, once again, Bogdan is dishing out times and a half. And once again, it's already had a pay upgrade increase. To where you know you guys can be making even more money off of these heist missions and stuff like that <laughs> i'm going up and down like this whoa it's like a roller coaster ride all the way to the airport and then real quick we're just gonna go ahead and touch down now take note of what i what happens right here <laughs> just take watch <laughs> <laughs> Where are we climbing out from? I don't know. Bro, I screwed the pooch on that one. Almost. We almost failed. <laughs> Whose fault was that? I was piloting. It was me. I was doing the piloting. Shut up, Lester. You see, I just blew the event. Like, where's the Avenger? We totally got rid of the Avenger. We got rid of the Avenger like I got rid of my elbows. <laughs> oh, man. That was, that was awesome. 
So anyways, from there, you guys, this is the Torador method I just wanted to go ahead and show you, which can be potentially a lot easier than doing, you know, the Sea Shark method or taking the Avenger and then parking it on the, the island and then running out there or something like that, you know. But you will need, like, that Aquanized vehicle because it's always great to go and pick your friend up and not have to wait for them to swim all the way to shore, which can take a matter of minutes you know, even in first person, you can swim faster in the game, which is really cool. All right, guys. So, anyways, from there, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful in any way, hit that like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content. And thank you for watching. My name is Gravesite, and I will see you in the next one. So, peace.